What's up, what's up, what's up? What's good, everybody? Standing stream once again. We're trying it again. I liked it yesterday so much that I thought I'd have to try it again. What's up, Wise and Lemur? What's up, Stained Glass? How we doing? I am gonna add, um, I'm gonna try, let's see what happens if I add chat again. 
right here. <clears throat> Standy. What's up? How we doing? Welcome in. Let's set a timer for Jeopardy. I don't really like this big gap right here. I'm not a fan of this one. This one in particular, I don't like that gap. But this, I was able to I was able to make the spinner at least show up, so I thought that was nice, which I actually need to restock it right now, so I'm gonna do that right now. It's way past time to restock. tilt it down a bit yeah so here's the thing here's the thing I keep playing with it and I'm never satisfied I tilt it down I give myself less headroom and then I'm not happy with where it's at with this computer that's right here see I'm touching a computer right now and so it's gonna be showing and I don't really like that it's very tricky H man it's very tricky until my until my proper mount gets here until the proper mount gets here now you can see the screen and I don't like that I don't like that you can see it I keep going back and forth. I keep going back and forth. <clears throat> I can't get it where I like it. I don't, I, I'm so tall. I'm so tall is the issue. I've, I've raised and lowered the desk a little bit. Currently it's not at its, at its maximum height. It's just a lot. I've tried zooming. Zooming definitely messes with the quality. We'll try it. Oop, too much, way too much, holy moly. That might have been too much of a zoom. Now you can't see the background at all. I still just don't like it. Yesterday I liked the headroom, but I thought I would change it and I tried to lower so that I didn't have to go down so far so that I didn't feel like I was like looking up at you guys. And I just, I, it's better, but it's not perfect. It's better, but it's not perfect. I'm, I'm convinced that a, um, a mount is gonna save the day. I sure hope so. The issue is that this is not sustainable because I can't standardize this and I don't like that. I don't like that I can't standardize it. I can't just, I can't install right there. So I've got a mount pole that I'm going to put on this other side and it's going to go up right here and hopefully, hopefully, man, it's tricky, tricky stuff, tricky stuff. How's everybody's Tuesdays? We're glad that you're here. Got a big day planned. We're going to play some season today. <clears throat> I'm dropping frames like Cray, you guys. Have I crashed? I don't think internet's gone. I've had a pretty pretty good day on the internet. Still got both bars. I don't know what's happening. This thing's driving me crazy. It's got, the, I've got to like, I've got to install a, a robot to push this button to turn um, it on every now and again. Should I reverse time if we don't get what we want from the Got job on. You got it. I do know that I definitely am in, I'm liking standing up. Standing up is very nice. Beans, the booger bean. Or I think it's actually grass. Oh man. Right or left hand, H-man, right or left. And I don't know why the thumbnails are not showing right here anymore. OBS is, is not being kind. Not being kind. Right or left, you pick your bean. Right? You got it. All right. This is either pear or grass. Bottoms up. Oh, I really wanted pear. Not that bad. The grass is not that bad, Ugh. but I wanted pear. I was excited for it. It tastes like I got grass shavings in there because some of the sugar is still in there. Yep. Tastes like I just uh, took a bite out of uh, lawn clippings. <clears throat> Oh, 
Oh man, Chris W just threw up that again, huh? Trying to get that interest out. Folks, Alice is Missing, uh, Chris W is putting on an Alice is Missing uh, session and you really do not want to miss out on that. Like, if you're like, I don't know, I don't know if that sounds like it's for me, it's legitimately probably, it is the best tabletop gaming experience I've ever had. Ever. Which granted, my I have limitations on my tabletop experience. But the fact that it was self-contained, I didn't have to, like, it, it took a little bit of prep, but it wasn't something that I had to show up every single week like I do for D&D. It was the best D&D experience I've ever had, in a sense, all wrapped up into one package. Like, you gotta give it bonus points for uh, being so short. Lurgan and Worgen, thanks, Whit. We'll see you around. Hopefully you'll be into this game, enjoy it. Did you just play some, play some uh, chicory this morning? I wasn't able to join this AM because my daughter turns four today. And so she had her four-year-old doctor's appointment. Everything is going good. She's very healthy, uh, but that did take up my entire morning. Ad starting. All right, we'll do, uh, we'll do Jeopardy after the ads. We'll do Jeopardy after the ads for our non-subbed peeps. But I'm looking forward to this game. Um, we'll see how much of it we get through today. As I understand it, it's like a six and a half hour, seven hour game. So maybe we'll play it again on Thursday and maybe next Thursday and finish it. We'll see. I don't know how much I'm gonna like it. I might really like it. <clears throat> it definitely looks up my alley. Definitely looks up my alley, so. I am sleepy. Yeah. Luckily, luckily, uh, Quinn did not keep us up last night, and that was so nice. It was so nice! The lighting and sound when you're standing behind just slightly, uh, being, being just slightly different, we're gonna take some getting used to, yeah. Yeah, if I take a step back, it, like, dims pretty seriously. I have new lights coming, too, so. Uh, these are not, these are not good enough. These are not good enough lights. Honestly, this light could probably afford to be closer. That might help things, really. It was kind of bent far back. That's a little help. But don't worry. Uh, Thursdays, we'll still be sitting down. We'll have, we have, we just have options now. We have options. This is not a necessarily a permanent thing. Now, the sound is a totally different story. Do I need to adjust things? Can you guys not hear me well? Because I can, I, can, I can adjust. I can turn up the gain here. You just tell me. If there's a sound issue, I want to make it. I cannot move the mic closer. I mean, I, I maybe can, but it's definitely not going to be happy with me. Not going to be happy. Okay, hang on. Let me try and it's very precariously balanced. Really, once the mountain gets here, things will things will pretty drastically change. But that's going to be hard to stay that close. Sounds like you're talking in a room. And I'm, I also don't have um, sound absorption up this high. All my sound absorption was directly in front of me. So that, that could be hurting things as well. You never know. <clears throat> the issue is again, I don't want to change too much because I don't want this to be like the only set we have. I want to be able to go back and forth. Sound is bouncing around the room. Yep, there's no absorption. There's no absorption right here at all. I am using my nice mic. Although we've been having mic issues for a while now. Uh, the mic has been driving me crazy for quite a little while. Does it still sound that way? Because I definitely moved it closer. You guys are saying it still sounds this way? It would be nice if I could hear myself. Wouldn't that be so nice? But OBS is like, hmm. We could do that, but it would it would it would be the worst. We'll let you hear yourself, but it'll be the worst experience you've ever had in your entire life. Alright, are those oh the ads are done. 
Oh, it still doesn't seem like I'm using my mic. You're saying it does not sound good even still. Well, then we might have an issue. How about now? How about now? How about now, brown cow? Yeah. I was about to say, surely. So I wonder, did it sound like that? Did it sound like that the entire time yesterday and nobody told me? Ah, you guys have got to tell me. Did it sound that way the entire time? Okay, good. You guys really scared me. If an entire stream sounded like that. Yeesh. All right. Time for Jeopardy. Time for Jeopardy. For those of you that have not been around for Jeopardy, we do Jeopardy questions from a uh, Jeopardy calendar of the day. And um, the leaderboard is constantly changing, constantly moving. So it's a whole year worth of questions. So... Take your shot, shoot your shot. You could potentially climb up the leaderboard quickly. Uh, you do not have to respond in the form of a question. Just respond as quickly as you know the answer. You don't even have to wait for me to finish reading the question. Um, but today's question, the final Valentine's Day question as we continue to catch up through February uh, 15th now. Category is, oh, let me turn down the music a little bit because it might be a little loud. Category is, it happened on Valentine's Day. <clears throat> the answer. Oh, and this is for 1K. And even 1K. Speed is a clownfish servant to Valentine in this comedy set in Romeo's town. Speed is a clownfish servant to Valentine in this comedy set in Romeo's town. Also, congratulations to Stained for getting uh, first. Good job. Good job. Man, with the drop frames, Verona is a part of the answer, but not the full answer. It is not Romeo's town the full answer? Speed is a clownfish servant to Valentine in this comedy set in Romeo's town. Our scene is set in Fair Verona, but that is only a portion of the answer. Ooh, that's so close, but no, not one night in Verona. Oh man, does anybody got it? Does anybody know this? I wouldn't have gotten this one. I had no idea. <clears throat> Let's set a timer. We got one more minute. One more minute. I'll give another minute for people to answer this question. That'll be my limit. Pressure's on. Pressure is on. Who's gonna take it? Yeah, this, this, this thing just isn't gonna do, dude. Maybe there's a different setting that lasts longer. Maybe if I let go. No, not Night Verona either. I shouldn't have said you were that close. I shouldn't have said you were that close. You guys want some stickers? These are from uh, Nora's doctor's appointment today. Sweet patient. Got a Peppa. Peppa. Love in the villa is not it either. Ooh, 19 seconds. <clears throat> we got a uh, Barbie there. Another Peppa. My Verona. No, I don't think you guys know it. I don't think y'all know it. Yep, Zando, it is two gentlemen of Verona just in time. You, If you would have been a second later, I wouldn't have given it to you. Yep. Two gentlemen of Verona. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I have never heard of such a thing. I don't know if it's a movie or if it's a play. But congratulations, it's a Shakespearean play for realsies. I would have thought I would have at least heard of a Shakespearean. 
All right, my Bologna. Second Jeopardy question, the final Jeopardy question. It's a double Jeopardy worth 800 points. 800 points. Category is unusual looking animals. The griffin species of this bird has a featherless head, perhaps to keep blood from matting while eating a carcass. The griffin species of this bird has a featherless head, perhaps to keep blood from matting while eating a carcass. Oh, it is Zando with Vulture. Congratulations. Very close, very close. All right, with that, our leaderboard. Let's take our timer away. Our leaderboard as it currently stands in Jeopardy. Let me make sure nobody has, yep. Third place is maybe 30 bats in 4K. Second place, Sneaky Pigs with 10K 800. And first place, Zando with 14K 600 points. Good job, everybody. Zando, your movie, movie game. Let Zando open or answer first. If he can't get it, then it'll open up to the rest of us. Two keepers of an illumination edifice dedicated to keeping boats safe try not to lose their minds freestyling at a kid and play shindig. Okay. Two keepers of an illumination edifice dedicated to keeping boats safe try not to lose their minds freestyling at a kid and play shindig. It is lighthouse party. Chats in the class for Sando. Go take care of Ben. Go take care of Ben. Man, that's great. You got that so fast, Tim. Insane. You love lighthouses? I've still not seen the lighthouse. Which is which is weird. I really I I love um I love Willem Dafoe. All right, folks. We're gonna play season. We're gonna play season a letter to the future. Season a letter to the future. I've never played this game. I don't know anything about it except for the fact that I remember seeing trailers for it. And that you ride your bike uh, and you take beautiful pictures. And I like that. I can't ride a bike, really. I mean, I, I, I can like get on a bike now, but that took a lot of work, honestly. I'm a third, I'm a third born kid. And so I was never taught to ride a bike. My parents were like, yeah, we've already been there, done all that. And so whenever it came time to teach me to ride a bike, they were like, mm, nah. So I never learned, and then whenever I was like 17, I went over to a friend's house, and he was like, you don't know how to ride a bike? And so he taught me how to ride a bike, and uh, didn't really succeed. And then we, uh, Logan and I love the beach, and so we go to the beach every year, and Logan loves riding bikes, and so she was like, I'm gonna teach you how to ride a bike so we can go ride bikes at the beach. And so I started riding uh, a bike then, and then I went to Duke, where I was like, uh, the parking lots were forever away from campus, and so I got a bike to ride from my parking lot to campus. And uh, then I nearly had a heart attack on the side of the road because I'd never built up endurance. And I thought all of a sudden that I'd be able to ride two and a half miles. And, uh, and then I got scared of the bike and then I stopped riding a bike. And that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So fun, fun question. Do you know how to ride a bike? <laughs> <clears throat> Does everybody know how to ride a bike in the chat? Because your boy was never taught. That was intense. That was the full story. That's the whole, that's my entire life of biking. And it is still sitting, uh, not sitting, I guess. Would you call it sitting if it's on the wall? It is mounted on the wall in my garage to this day. My bike is just sitting there. I bought it. I rode it. I rode it eight times. I rode it eight times probably at campus. And uh, one of the times uh, fell off the side of the road and laid on the ground and thought I was dying and nearly called an ambulance only to eventually catch my breath. And uh, that was real scary. It was real scary. <coughs> I've since learned that I have high blood pressure mixed with asthma and um, that those two things don't really like biking. So that's fun. Fun story, fun story. Nobody stopped to help me, by the way. Six foot four man lying on the ground. A six foot four man just lying on the ground. And nobody stopped to help me. Shame, shame. People should be ashamed of themselves, dude. 
It's a tall man. That's a big man to be on the ground. Season. A letter to the future. Looks like Jate has this on their wish list. 16 achievements. Six and a half hours to play. We're going to give it the old college try. See what this game has in store for us. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and go over to GameCap here. Am I transparent? No, I'm going to make myself transparent here. Why am I not transparent? I should be transparent. No, oh, no, I am transparent. Okay. It just doesn't look transparent, but I guess maybe once we see the background. <coughs> In their defense, anything that could knock your big self down, probably not something they wanted to encounter. Yeah, <clears throat> I can get behind that. I can get behind that. All right, everybody say bye, Spoofy. Bye, Spoofy. All right, I got to get this open on this. Hang on. You're on the wrong You're on the wrong one. Get up here. <clears throat> get up here, friendo. <clears throat> you're on the wrong screen. You're on the wrong screen. I need you on a different screen. <clears throat> I need you on a different screen. Come up here. Come up here, puppy. How do I get it up here? Aw. There's got to be a way. <clears throat> Can we leave full screen for just a second? Oh, you're actually borderless windowed right now? Prove it. <coughs> nice. Okay. Beautiful. We got it fixed. Uh, do I use a controller for this? <clears throat> Maybe. Let's see. I don't know for sure, but I just have a feeling this game is going to be, um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a feeling this game is going to be a walking sim. So I guess, you know, we'll see. We shall see. Apologies for all the sniffles that you're going to hear today. I'm really sorry. It's not on purpose. Whoa. There we go. All right. Let me know if you guys can hear it, can't hear it. All that good stuff. Cell shading, very nice. <clears throat> Who are you? Who are you? Okay, so currently there's not much to hear, so Who you guys aren't are missing. You? Okay, let me know if that was loud enough. I don't know, but I'm writing to you anyway. Where are you? How far in the future? Where'd you find my journal? I may never know, but you can know me from what I put down on these pages. I come from a little village in the mountains. No one has left here since before I was born. But our lives changed overnight. Just a few days ago when my best friend had a prophetic dream. Well, I know how that goes. A vision that the Elder said means this season is going to end soon. The world is about to enter a new era. A great oh. change is coming. Everyone was afraid. I was surrounded by questions and I began to feel how little I know. What is Back this season that is about to end? Seized and why day. is it ending? What exactly is out there that could turn the world inside out? If there are still voices singing and laughing in the wilderness, I could record them before they're gone. I also thought of my dad, who always wanted to see the outside world but never did. So, I asked if I could leave. The Elder had one condition for letting me go. But I take what I collect to the museum vault. A palace of art and memory at the edge of the earth. <coughs> she says it's the only place safe from the turmoil of a changing season. 
I hope that's where you're reading this now. I can't stop the change that is coming, but this time on Earth could live on in these pages. What it looks like, sounds like, how it feels to be alive right now. I'm writing to you at the crack of dawn on the morning I leave home. I can smell breakfast cooking in the other room, and I can hear my mom's voice. Okay, interesting. So we're like kind of playing through a memoir in a sense. All right, the index. Past seasons, Light of the Future, Village in the Mountains, Pate's Dream. This season is going to end. Dad, the Museum Vault, The Morning I Leave Home. That's what we just read. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, it says all concluded. Well, I guess I beat the game. I guess I beat the game, you guys. Good job. <clears throat> Good job, us. We did it. Oh, man. We really stride, huh? Okay. Uh, it's a puppy dog. Let's, uh, let's hear it. Three. Two. Oh, is it going to explode? One. Hooray. <clears throat> Mr. Lotto's here. Hey, Mr. Lotto. It you. It, Mr. Lotto. Catalog of Strangers, Fearsome Tales for Blase Children. That's not very kind. Ooh. A catalog of strangers is an introduction to the mere, more frightful aspects of the world. A reasonable amount of fear and fun makes your prudent children. <clears throat> oh. Okay, so I can't open it. Understood. <clears throat> uh, an old bill, a husk, or leave? Let's look at the bill. This is money. Ooh, what's that? The owl spreads her wings over prosperity. This bill is worth ten poems. Isn't that cheeky? Oh, look at the husk. <clears throat> okay, so just left and right. Can't really look at them up and down. <laughs> Get Mr. Lotto some Prozac. Yeah, something needs to no, something needs to change in his life. My bag and dad's camera. Ready for the great departure. Uh, let's see. A prize ribbon? Does it say what for? Uh, wandering Tail Festival. Ceramic animal. Ooh, ooh. <clears throat> Hope you like him more than you would have liked to fish, Pate. Origami. Man, there's, there's secrets in everything, aren't there? Folded by Pate. Sketch of dad. Is dad pate? <clears throat> I went out for a climb. Be back this evening. Mom and dad's portrait. Okay, nothing on that side. Okay. All right. I hope we have a pick up the pace button. Because we are striding. Absorb the moment. Good morning, Mom. Study the scene. Uh, I'll probably just say good morning. You're up. Oh, comic books? It's going to be a beautiful morning. I'm making progress. I found the burner, camera, recorder, travel bag. Breakfast is in progress. <clears throat> Still got to make a pendant. We haven't used this in so long. Good thing I saved the instructions. Just as you would use. Why do they do like mobile game speech bubbles, body, dude? An identity pendant protects your mind, your thoughts, memories, everything that makes you you. We don't wear them here in the village anymore. But if you're going into the outside world, I'll feel better when you've got a pendant shielding you. Shielding against what? Diseases of the mind. Oh. Like the dream sickness. Where did the dream sickness come from? I don't from? know what caused it. We heard people suddenly fell into an eternal sleep. These were years of wild rumors, and half of them turned out to be true. In times of war, a pendant can be used to identify a body. Oh, this got dark. <sighs> Let's skip that part. Yeah, I agree. Objects have two layers. 
the physical and the mental. The pendant needs to absorb both. One, collect a sentimental object for each sense. Sound, smell, feel, sight, taste. Two, feel the sense and speak aloud a memory of the object. Three, feed the object into the burner. The memory will leave the speaker as it is transferred to the pendant. That means I'll forget the memory after I say it. It's supposed to be painless, at least. Um, I could do it and I'll lose the memories instead. Let's try it. I don't know. Okay, so this old tape should work for our sense of sound. <coughs> <coughs> I remember. You and I fell asleep listening to this tape. Your dad came home. We all rested together until it got dark. Okay. Bye bye to that memory forever. Joke's on you, I still remember it. Ha <laughs> ha! What an odd feeling. Like an absence, disappearing. The empty space fills itself back in until I forget that I forgot anything at all. Oof. Oof. I'm glad I'm only losing a few memories. If I lost too many, I wouldn't even know who you are. You should pick the rest of the objects. I'll lose the memories, but you'll have them in a pendant forever. So they should be important to you. They should be part of your identity you want to be sure to protect. So think about what these items and what the memories would preserve about you. Let's do smell next. Find an object with a strong odor and that holds a piece of you. I really don't know who I am, so how would I even, how would I even begin to know? A ginger drink, I'm guessing that's not it. Coffee? <clears throat> Coffee is a strong odor. Granite, seaside, darkness. This speaks to how my mom loves me. <clears throat> That's gotta be the touch. Flowers. Flowers! Ancient perfume, sweet. Nothing is ever lost. I forgot that flowers existed. I'm going to forget about flowers. What did you choose for smell? These dry flowers. Let's breathe in deep. Who needs them? Your dad used to bring these flowers home from his climbs. They only grow high up in the mountains. He was a great climber. He even found us a new source of water. I hoped after he would climb less, maybe even retire. But he always wanted to explore. I like her outfit, man. And the only direction looks great. to go was up. Maybe the elder is letting you leave out of guilt for what happened to your dad. If someone has the energy to leave, it needs to go somewhere. He fell into the Fitz ravine. Oh, no. He never no. found his body. Oh no. But doesn't he rest with us at night? Was it the day that I did the drawing? Doesn't he appear in our dreams? How can such a human being depart this earth without leaving behind a trace? A trace as strong as the flowers would still have their scent. Darling, I don't want to lose this one. I can't lose this one. Can we put the flowers back, please? Ah. Uh. Uh, uh, I mean, I mean, <clears throat> I don't know, dude. Do I, I sure? Let's Thank see if there's anything else. Let's see if there's something else. I don't know. I don't know what else even exists in this house. Something stinky. Are anything else stinky in here? Baby waves. Candles have a smell. I was loved by people I have no memory of. Okay, cool. I'll forget my ancestors. Who needs them? What did you choose for smell? 
I found the candle. Let's breathe in deep. Probably should have put the flower in. This kind of candle keeps someone alive for the time it takes to burn. Just a few hours when death is nearby. It can be enough for last rites, last words. This was grandma's candle. She didn't want to use it. You spent a lot of time with her when you were a baby. I realized she wouldn't live long enough for you to remember her, or for her to see you grow up and discover what kind of person you'd be. So in a way, you don't know her, and she didn't know you. And yet, she loved you. I don't know where love goes, hmm. but it belongs to you anyway. You guys have a grandparent like that? My, my granddad died whenever I was like three, so I never got to know him. <coughs> my parents always tell me how much he loved me. Now touch. Pick something with the texture you like. Texture. Probably gonna pick my little baby baby print. Little baby palm print over here. My hand in my own hand. I think that's this powerful. speaks to how my mom loves me. Oh no, does that mean I'm gonna forget my mama? <clears throat> I'm gonna forget your love, mom. So what did you end up choosing? Hand imprint. Okay. Put your hand in the hand. Oh, I remember it so well. It's not as bad now, but in the old days, not many children lived long enough to grow up. Oh my gosh. If the child could make what it to culture is nine, this? They'd be all right. This print was made of your hand when you turned nine. Your father and I couldn't believe we really had a healthy girl. An old deep fear inside of me finally went away. And we saw you would just keep growing and growing. That everything was going to be okay. Do you guys think I made the wrong choice with the flower? I'm a little nervous now. You okay? I'm fine. Let's do sight nicks. Pick something that, that looks nice. Does she not know who I am? Has she forgotten my childhood? I don't know if I like this. <laughs> I don't know if I like this, dude. I don't know if I'm about this. I don't know if I want to play this game. This is, this is sad. This is sad times. It's kind of bumming me out, Mom. Mom, I'm kind of bummed, Mom. Hey, Mom, I'm a little bummed. Oh yeah, the picture of my dad. Ooh, or the ceramic. Ooh, what am I gonna do? Oh, there's so many options. Hang on. Mr. Lotto. Worn cover. How I always wanted to meet these strangers. That would be a good one for sound. Something that looks nice. Ooh, an insect looks Poisoned. nice. Blue. Shine. <clears throat> I like bugs. I look closely. Let's see what she says about the bugs. Oh no, ad break! So, what did you <clears throat> choose in? My Oma died six years before I was born. She worked in a feather bed making shop in the village square. She made a feather blanket and pillow for me. That's really beautiful. Especially to have like an object. An object from them is super important. Ad should be over by now, if the ad thing is working. The dry beetle. When you were a little kid, and I'd wash your pants, I'd check the pockets <sighs> and find all kinds of little things you'd collected up. So I'm remembering that I'm a collector, I like that. Rocks, leaves, bits of string. Am I like setting rocks. forth for myself the entire game? It happened less and less as you- I'm making so many decisions right off the bat. But I remember the afternoon, I found this beautiful blue beetle in your pocket. I thought, oh, this might be the last time. And this dead insect suddenly became so precious to me. What is it in our young eyes that imbue every small... Why did we lose this? I don't think you ever did. I'm a collector. <clears throat> Ooh, that wasn't very good. Is it full? Poor taste. Oh, no. Nope. We can eat breakfast and feed some to the burner. 
Really? That's as important as the as the as the food is? <clears throat> I feel like maybe we should honor our honor our food a little more than just breakfast this morning. I'm gonna put some frosted flakes in Memory there, dude. Lose is the one we're forming right now. I want you to have it forever. The moment you left me. Oh, that's kinda sad. Oh, that's kinda sad. Oh, that's kinda sad. This game's really sad. Why is this doing this? Why you why you gotta do this to me? You're standing here. You're having a last taste of home. You don't have to put it like that. Frosty flakes. They're more than good. They're gone! By lost memories. A gem of home. <clears throat> your neck. This is my only condition for letting you go. You must promise me never to take the pendant off. This reminds me of, um... And never tamper with it. The Giver. Like, there's, like, so much world building happening right away that I know nothing about. Of course. Okay. Then I'm okay with you leaving. I think your camera and bag are still in your room. It's time to gather them up. <laughs> Whoopsie. Oh, boy. That stride, though. You'll definitely take that thing. I'm losing it as soon as I walk out the door. <laughs> I just trip. <laughs> I just trip immediately. Can I take a picture? Can I take a picture of mom right away? Come on, mom. I've lost so much. How could the world ask me to lose you too? Oh. <coughs> yeah. How do I take a picture? Nope. Okay. I don't get to. That's fine. I didn't even want to. I didn't even want to be the one that did it. No big deal. No big deal. I didn't even want to be the one to take the picture. There we are. There we were. We'll always be right here on this beautiful morning. Hmm. Mom. Well. I just performed a ritual with my mom. The moment has passed, but I'll record it in these pages for you for the future. Okay. <clears throat> oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Boom. Okay. Place enough keepsakes to unlock an inspiration. Okay, where's my picture? Ah. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. <clears throat> I almost wish I would have placed these things last, huh? Fascinating. No, no, I want to do that thing. I want to do that now. I never knew when my mom would share a memory of dad. Okay. While cooking, on a walk, with no warning, <coughs> it the wind out of me. Rituals take this grief and give it a shape and a story. Was I supposed to use both pages? Filling in this journal is a ritual too. Uh oh. But for a loss that hasn't hit us yet. I didn't realize I was supposed to use both pages. Ooh. Ooh, can I change everything? Nope. I've brought tools to record the sights <laughs> and sounds of this season. Okay. I'll start All right. The next pages will be great. Okay. 
The next pages will be really, really good. That one, not a great page. The rest of them are going to be, ooh, are going to be excellent, all right? Oh, wow. Ooh, wow. Okay, okay. Ooh, sepia tone, huh? All right, all right, all right. I'm here. I'm here for it. I get it. I see what you're doing. Neato. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Oh, I'm recording sound? This is really all I wanted to do, but I guess it's done. Oh, what's that? Wow, interesting. <clears throat> well, I've already come this far, so I might as well just go ahead and save that there. Oh, I can undo each of them, can't I? I can edit each of them. This is fine. This is fine. Fascinating. There's so much design and detailing I can do. It's like a it's like a real journal. Fascinating. Photography game. Do I need the audio recorder right now? Public sleep music is a tradition of ours here. When the music ends, the village will begin to wake up. Fascinating. Can I get the sound without water? We have plenty of fresh water here. Yeah, we do. I wonder if it's more scarce in the outside world. Last night, there was a goodbye party here in the plaza. Everyone was so afraid for me. To understand that fear, to understand where I grew up, you have to know the man standing watch over the plaza, Dr. Fumio. Yeah, that's all good and well, but I want to take a picture of this first. <gasps> yes, change the pace. Thank you. Remembering everything must be painful. <clears throat> Dr. Fumio brought peace to so many people here. Dr. Fumio and his son founded Cairo back in 776. They live on through our traditions. Whoa. Okay. There are three murals celebrating Dr. Fumio's work. <clears throat> I want to get the other side. The other side looks better. Yee yee. Yee yee. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's what I'm talking about right there. This is Dr. Yeah! His son. The statue isn't as old Foley as game, looks. photography game, it's all of H it's Man's things. It's down to give it a feeling of ancientness and the authority that comes with it. That's real nice. I'm not a filter guy. I don't know if y'all are filter people, but I'm I'm not I'm not about it. Oh, how do I I wanted to okay. I wanted to place that picture, thank you. Thank you. Um so let's see, there is a mural of something and a mural of something, and then a little tiny instrument that I have to record. So let's find all these things. Pick up the pace. That's definitely one of them. Boop it bop bop. Oop, there's the instrument, too. Ooh, it sounds like it's, like, backwards. Doesn't it sound like it's, like, backwards? It's kind of crazy. This is a healing instrument created by Dr. Fumio. <clears throat> it draws on the pure mountain air. Rip. Rip, Dr. Fumio. Gotta get a better angle. Dream sickness dreams on. Tell me more about that now. 
So that's not the first time I've heard about this dream sickness. Dr. Fumio said the dream sickness was caused by something very powerful. <clears throat> he wasn't able to cure it. Sounds like he might have died from it. Okay. One of my last one. Where's the last mural? One more mural. Not over here. I don't remember seeing one up there. Maybe it's in this little alcove. Let's find out. Tis indeed. The elder sought out Dr. Fumio to cure her mother, who was suffering from time misperception. Okay. Let's put the stiff in. Get some inspiration. <clears throat> Nice. Who was Dr. Fumio? Dr. Fumio was an important person, but we also just have a need to put a human face on events that are beyond our control. <clears throat> oh, preach. He may have felt just as scared and helpless as everyone else. Cool. Oh, wait, Carl Village is not done. My village is created to survive the turning of the seasons, but I didn't want to just survive. I want to know life and carry it into the future. Well, okay. Well, I need to know more about Karo Village. I didn't know I wasn't taking enough notes. Didn't feel like that was a big enough area to take more pictures of things, but don't mind if I do. Is this tree a part of Carlo Village? Carlo Village? I don't know when I'm going to use the focus distance. Last night, my friends wrote down their hopes for my trip and tied them to the branches of this tree. <clears throat> That's a car of village thing. See? Cafe. This is the cafe where my dad used to read his poems. He wrote one for me. Maybe he wrote it for you too. You don't know my life. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Purple mountains, majesty. Boop. Nothing. Inspiration available, you say? Can I, like, twist it? Yes, I can. Wish I could almost, like, change frames, you know? Keepsake! Tell me a story! The village What's up, Weesh? How we doing? Place to heal. Is that where my instinct to try to help comes from? It's so strange to imagine I'll be shaped by places and people I haven't met yet. So strange to imagine that I might feel at home somewhere else. Bro, still standing. I never stop. I never stop. I'm doing okay. I wish I could get over this, um... Wish I could get over this crud. A new conclusion unlocked. Okay. Okay. Wonder what's next. 
Where do we go from here? Did something unlock? I gotta leave the village somehow, but I don't know how to leave. Maybe down this, this, this stairwell here? Is that what this is? Was hoping you'd take the Elton Road. What is that? <laughs> Elton Road. Oh. Oh, this feels... This feels important. I can't fit it in frame! Oh no! I go fishing here with my best friend, Pate. Pate. Even though there's nothing to catch. Yellow Brick Road? Oh, because you're still standing. The silence. I see. I see. I'm still standing. That's what I thought you were talking about. Ooh, another one. Another one. No, I'm just taking pictures. Carol Village was founded during the modernity. Tiny the answer. Much later, Dr. Fumio arrived and remade it in his image. Hold me closer, Tony Danza. So interesting. That's kind of beautiful. Flower means you're in my thoughts. The morning after. You know, I don't know if I'm getting that, sick, but this AM I felt like crowded and had to take two naps this morning. I'm telling you, it is just like in the air. It's just like grossness is in the air. I can't stop feeling the crud. I'm so over it. I've had this cough for like a solid week. I'm past it. I'm past it. I don't want it. I don't want it anymore. If I know Vigi games, there's a seeky secret somewhere back here. Guess not. Guess I don't know the Vigi games. <clears throat> Popping cough drops like candy? Oh, you're telling me. Man. You're telling me. Like right here, dude. Right here. Normally I do Ricola. Is it recording? Yes. Okay. How to leave home for my daughter. Find a sacred square of earth. Lay down so you have the dirt at your back. Close your eyes. Close everything. Oh, wow. Do you see for yourself? <clears throat> you see for the dead, for the unborn. Do you listen for yourself? You listen for the dead, for the unborn. A lot of sight Your stuff. Ancestors a, lot of, a lot of sensation stuff. Dirt. A lot of sensing. All the living and all the dead are holding you up. Now, stand. They're still there, aren't they? It's time to move. To entangle yourself everywhere with everyone. All at once? So the next time you lay down in the dirt, you will have so much more to tell them. Please tell me this game ain't Elden Ring. Come on. Tell me it's not. Look at that view. Look at that view. I just descended out of the castle. This is just Elden Ring. <coughs> Have you played this game, Bwish? Ooh, I guess I'm gonna get my bike soon. I'm kind of excited to get my bike. This is my first time playing it. These bikes were used by messengers a long, long time ago. Nope. It's very gorgeous. It's very emo. I would say so far very emo. Not quite sure why it's so emo. But it is. 
thought I'd be able to get a bike. I can. Want Pate one. fixed up three bikes instead of one. Do I get to meet Pate? I'd like to meet Pate. Take a bike and leave Caro. Ooh, blue, yellow, or pink? Hmm. Blue, yellow, or pink. Well, you know what? It's the perfect time because we actually need to take a break. And so I will. Let's make a little poll. Let's make a little poll, a real quick little poll. <clears throat> and I'll let you guys pick. New poll. Bike. Blue, yellow, or pink. No purple, I'm afraid. And uh, we'll let that duration be for three minutes. And uh, that'll be how long we take our break for, you. Yeah? So I will catch you guys back in three minutes right here for more uh, season. Still, still waiting. Weesh tip. So there you go. The the the, the tips are auto loading. But for some reason, the alerts are not popping up. Pog 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 you. Why is it so awful? How do I follow the race? How do I follow the race? Oh no! What's happening? I can't follow the race. <laughs> oh whoa. Okay. Uh oh. All right. Mom, I'm the greatest gamer. Mother. Mother, did you hear? Did you hear that I'm the greatest gamer? It's true. I don't remember anything else about Squirtle. He's doing a T-pose though. <laughs> I accidentally drew him in T-pose, dude. <laughs> All right, T-pose Squirtle. <laughs> well, Squirtle, Squirtle, Squirtle. This is Squirtle, man. That's, that's, that's a cursed Squirtle as well. We're just getting all the cursed things out of the way first, dude. <laughs> I tried, man. I tried. Oh, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no, congrats. <laughs> Congratulations, Christina! <laughs> Woo! We have a good time, don't we? Ooh, don't we have a good time? Brrr. Full screen, I'll do it. <laughs> we don't talk about checkpoint. No, no, no. Right. What happens when you're gonna redeem a gotch bump from now on? Like Scoob? I guess we better see what's inside of this gotcha pot. I'm a little scared. Did you guys hear it? Did you hear Shaggy? Did you hear my buddy? <laughs> By Nor Unahar. So that's pretty hype. Uh -oh, Good evening, uh -oh, ladies uh -oh. and gentlemen. Now I can't hear it again. This is your captain speaking. Why? Hello. Why is this come? thing on? Testing. Well, one, I'll go to the other one. Two. I'll go to the other two, one. Two. Two. Every hundred dollars, you'll get to hear a page from my book that I wrote when I was ten years old. It's super cringe and embarrassing. Every five hundred dollars, we're gonna do a quiz that have been sent to us. Your mask, your mask, and cough, coughagrigus, coughagrigus, coughagrigus. How do you say that? Coughagrigus. Coughagrigus. Alright, we back. We back. We back. Coughagrigus. What? Turn off this bad boy. Okay, your mask Goodbye. is. Back to game cap. Yeah, you like the U U R R? So good, so good. Oh, you know what? I clicked away before I got the chance to look at what the results were. Let's look at our poll results. Let's see what we decided on. We decided on the pink bike. Pink it is. Pink works great. All right, let's get into it. <clears throat> pink bike. It's a nice pink too. That's like a nice pastel -y pink. Am I? Yeah, my voice is back. All right, dude. It's just torrent, man. We just got torrent. This is just Elden Ring. You can't convince me otherwise. They're the same game. This Elden Ring skin is great, dude. Wow. 
feels real nice. It's pretty zen. It's pretty zen. I really like the, uh, a Pedro Pastel. <laughs> Absolutely it is. Oh. Oh, I see. Season! Wow! A letter to the future. Wow, we did it. We beat the game. We won. It's over. We took a couple pictures. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. The game's just begun, baby! I wonder if I'm supposed to be taking pictures of all this stuff. That's like a carriage. I kind of like to take a picture of that carriage. How do I... <clears throat> that feels interesting. No? Nope. <laughs> no, actually, Nathan, you're the only one that finds that interesting. You're the first person ever taken a picture of that. I don't think I can do a wheelie. But I can ring the bell. You can ring my bell. Oop. Nobody finds this interesting. Come on. I mean, look at that. Look at that historic picture. What's up, Splash? How we doing? Nobody finds that even a little bit interesting. This little mine cart, this little overturn. Most of what I've seen. Yeah, that's what I world. thought. Probably arrived. Gotta go to that meeting. Place. See you, Bleach. Let me know how it goes. Hey, I can't be there. I would love to be. I mean, come on, look at these rolling hills. You're gonna admit, you're gonna you're gonna tell me not to take a picture of this? I don't, I don't think so. Leave all the saving to the men? I don't think so. Gorgeous. Gorge. Gorge. She's like battle ready, homie. Splash, how's your day going? Hope everything's good for you. We're glad that you're here. Books. What is this? What's all this stuff? <clears throat> the irony of Caro is that it's a closed off place Caro. on the outskirts of a busy trading hub. A postal hub we hardly used is practically on our doorstep. Ooh. Caro, Ting Valley, Azen Islands? I want to know more about the islands. Why not traipse around the Azen Islands? I feel like I'm walking tipsy on the edge of the earth. We're skipping from island to island the way a stone skips along the surface of the water. Uh, leaving little ripples, like a kiss or two. Oh, I don't know. I just miss you today, and today, and today. XOXO, you know who. Sure. Teeing Valley. Hey, guess where I am? I hope you looked at this, this side first. I had to pay my respects to the birthplace of Manchez. There's a lot of tourists, but also a weird feeling in the place. Uh, it would take me more than a postcard to explain. Take care, Aldo. All right, y'all have a meeting as well. I will definitely be watching the VOD. We'll see you, H-Man. Thanks for being here. Appreciate you. This village was very hard to find, but if you really need it somehow, you make your way there. I wanted to let them know that I'm staying here for good. This season can only bring me to violent end. It will be. It, it's too bright, too cheery. Stay safe, Conway. I can see oh, man. This is not another one of those games, is it? Has extremes of beauty and tragedy beyond anything I've known. Dear Esdale, uh, I'll be surprised if this letter reaches you. The war has become like a deranged sleeper thrashing in bed, eyes closed tight. I've noticed how the soldiers strip people of their clothes first, a smaller degradation which permits everything that follows. I wish I'd love you more completely than the world allowed it. Le le let Odell. Bless you. Excuse me. They were right. Excuse me, excuse the me. The letter never made it. The season before this one, the war. Seems so horrible. Mm. 
Dear Cornelius, I thought it over, and I have to tell you, the name you picked for your baby, it is terrible. Please do not go forward to it. I pray this letter reaches you in time. Yours, Darina. I wonder what the name was. Am I supposed to be doing all this, looking at letters? Please get this letter to Dr. Fumio. I know that is. I'm suffering from memory excess, but cannot travel to the village for treatment. I was praying you could instruct me by mail how to cure myself of this disease. I'm unable to forget. Now I realize how important it is to gain open space in the mind. Tell me what to do. Tell me how to forget. Please get this letter to Dr. Fumio. Before setting up in Cairo Village, Dr. Fumio roamed the land curing people. It must have been hard when he wasn't around anymore. Whoa. Especially for people who couldn't travel to the village. From the village, these cranes look like little creatures, grazing. I had no idea how huge they are. What is this land? What is this land? And I can sketch? Man, she can do everything. He's like the artist's artist. That's gorgeous. What is she doing? <laughs> I don't think that was supposed to be on. Did you see her scooting back and forth? I don't think that's supposed to be a feature. I think they forgot to turn off the, uh, the left stick for that. That's very funny. Okay. Is that a nest? Fascinating. I mean, I'm here to explore this world, so I'm invested. Back on the bike. <clears throat> Hope I'm doing the right thing. That's gorgeous. I wonder if this game ever gets violent. I wonder if there is like a level of violence that's going to surprise me. <coughs> I hope not. I need a picture of that sign. I need a picture of that sign. Skirt. At some point, the tides got less predictable. Places flooded that never had before. Can I get over there? Well, it looks like I have to, huh? Unless I can go through the water. <clears throat> yep. Got to. Oopsie. <clears throat> Looks like I am, ooh. Sealand Transportation Industries established in 543. A what universe? Materials around. The things that well, that is kind of a cool picture, I guess.
I'm gonna have so many options. Do I have to run it across? <clears throat> I need a picture of that frog. He's my friend and I love him. He's the best little boy that I've ever seen and I need a picture of him. Yeah, little buddy, you're my best friend. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. We're recording. I'll send you a, a, a link later. Yes. A church board game expert. Ooh. Yeah, I gotta know. I gotta know more, Bwish. I got to know more. You gotta tell me all the things as you learn them. Hate I can't be there. Ooh. How close can I get? Without startling you. I don't wanna spook you. I don't wanna spook you, little buddy. We learned about old technology in school, but not much about animals. What are these strange goat-like creatures? Are they simply goats? I mean, surely. Okay, they would not run away. I like the white one! <clears throat> I need a picture of you. I kind of forgot about the audio recorder. Nope, look back up. Look back up. We'll wait. Please make a sound. Make a sound for me. Yeah. Goat sound. Goat sound. Here for it. Who would have thought that a game could give me such joy out of recording goat sound? It's just goat sound. Oops, I missed the bath. It's just goat sound. <laughs> yeah, pink bike was a good choice, y'all. Pink bike was a good choice. I wanna, I wanna stay straight whenever I'm, whenever I'm uh, doing the pan there. I cycled through landscapes, seeing them for the first and last time. I had no idea when I left my home how the season would end, or more importantly, how soon. Wait, that's kind of cool. No! 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 No, wait! No, wait! <laughs> All right, I guess the game told me, you're done. You're done. I feel true loneliness for the first time. Nobody could have described with words how big this world is, how it goes and goes. I passed through it, where others passed before me. <clears throat> I, never, I never ordered my, um, uh-oh. What do you mean? What do you mean? Hang on. I want to do my page stuff. All right, I'm going to do the goat drawing. <clears throat> we'll just take that from me. Still wasn't done, but that's fine. I feel nourished in these sights by the unfamiliarity of it all. These means of connection, long in disuse, are certainly telling me something about the world. Will they be used again in the next season? Mm. 
Oh my goodness, there's just so many options. I mean, how meticulous. You could lose, you could lose days. You could lose days. Lose absolute days to this game. Just organizing the books. Ooh. Nothing? Nothing from that? Oh really? Oh wait, hang on, I wanna I wanna zoom in on that. How can I wanted to get it. Oh, can I like crouch through that? Come on. How do I get that? I need it. I need it. <clears throat> oh yeah. Oh yeah, there's a way in. Thought they were going to make me get sneaky with it. person wanted the season to change. Why? Probably because they're real confused about this whole world you've built. Oh man, so I totally could get here. Oh man. Oh wow. Okay. You can get my bike. If only I could summon my bike like I summoned Torrent. That would be nice. Ooh, can I get that stuff? Can I have this stuff? No. I do need my bike. Oopsie. 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 Thought we were on the same page. We were not. Oopsie. 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 All right. I'm just as bad as riding a bike in real life as I am in this game. Evidently. <clears throat> wow! What's up, Centurno? Welcome in on the raid! How we doing? Welcome, 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 folks. Well, we gotta hop on over from that. How we doing? How are we doing, folks? What were y'all play- Uh-oh! Where's my camera go? Has that been gone the entire time? Since when? Since when? All right, well, welcome in. Hopefully my camera will come back. Welcome, 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 Centurnal peeps. How are we doing? I was wondering where your cam was. Yeah, I don't know how long it had been gone. Nobody mentioned anything. Uh, well, what's up, folks? What were you guys playing? What was y'all's game today? I know you've been doing some cool Pokemon Minecraft stuff, and I've been meaning to hop in, because that blows my mind that that's even a thing. But welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You were playing some Minecraft. Was it more of the Pokemon Minecraft? Because again, real jealous. Real jealous about all that. Doing great over there, thanks. Hope you all are good too. I'm gonna check on my camera real quick. I'm doing good. I've got a little bit of the crud, and you guys can probably hear it in my throat, but I'm doing all right. Got batteries fully charged? I have no idea. I guess it's just overheated. A different server we started up. Just a, a standard survival server, or what you guys doing this time? Well, while you're saying that, welcome over. This is Checkpoint Church. Uh, we are really a church. I'm really a pastor. This is a church plant for the United Methodist Church. Uh, and we've been going since about 2020, doing all sorts of fun stuff. We stream here on Twitch a couple days a week. Yesterday, we stream uh, some kind of Pokemon something every Monday. Uh, Tuesday, we do a thing called Variety Tuesday, where people actually vote over on our Discord server on what to play. This was uh, somebody's vote 
Uh, it's a game called Season, A Letter to the Future. It's kind of a walking sim, uh, emotional. It's very emo so far uh, experience, very kind of like just kind of a sad time, but you know, we're here for it. And then on Thursdays, we do Wake with Nate from 9 a.m. Eastern time until mi uh, noon, not midnight, good lordy, uh, until noon. And uh, just play whatever game we're kind of feeling. So that's our Twitch presence, uh, if you guys want to follow us for that. And then uh, on Discord, exclamation point Discord in the chat, uh, that is where we're active 24-7. We're always, we're always active over on, uh, on Discord, hanging out, asking questions of the day, doing all sorts of fun stuff, doing challenges. We did a t-shirt design challenge, which we're actually going to be voting for soon. Um, all sorts of good things happen in there all the time. We got places where people connect to play games together. We got a prayer request channel. Uh, we got all sorts of stuff going on over there, so that's a great place to be. And then our YouTube channel, we actually post nerdy sermons every single Sunday. So if you like nerdy things and you want to hear sermons on them, then that's where to do that. They're typically very short, about 15 minutes max uh, over there. So exclamation point YouTube, if you want to follow that, give us a sub because we are trying to boost our sub numbers there so that we can hopefully eventually uh, uh, get to the point where we're able to create a more sustainable community uh, through that platform. Um, our most recent, our most recent um, nerdy sermon was on, what was it on? It wasn't Quantum Mania. What was our most recent sermon on? Does anybody that's not sick remember? Anybody with a bigger brain? Bigger brain than mine? Oh, A Space for the Unbound. A Space for the Unbound. Um, so A Space for the Unbound is a super cool, it was a raid, yes, internal hopped on over here. So if you haven't played the game, A Space for the Unbound, you should absolutely play that. Super cool indie game. Before that, it was Ant-Man Quantumania. Sometimes it's about anime. Sometimes it's about video games. Sometimes it's about comic books. It's about all sorts of stuff. So if you want to hear sermons on that kind of stuff, uh, that's what our YouTube channel is mainly about. So very cool. Well, thank you for the raid. Thank you for hopping over here, folks. I know how raids work. Often people come with the raid. Sometimes the, the lurkers may stick around, but other people may have to hop off and that's totally okay. I get it if you got to go. Um, but I do want you to know before you leave, these three things we believe to be true about every single one of you out there. Number one, we believe that God really loves you no matter who you are, whether you believe in God, go to church, don't go to church, uh, you know, hate God. None of those things change. These three things that God does indeed love you. Number two, that we love you here at Checkpoint Church. We want community with you. That's what we're doing here. We want to reach you first and foremost to let you know that God loves you. We love you. And then number three, we believe that you, yes, you matter. You are a person of sacred worth. The world is a better place. Why? Because you are in it. We believe those three things to be true. So at the very least, even if you got to hop off, you've heard those things from us here today. And that is our greatest joy. So there we go. Thanks for the follow Ezra mashup VT. We're glad you're here. Welcome in. And uh, we're going to get back into this game. So we're going to play some more uh, season. Uh, so far, this game is about taking pictures and putting them in scrapbooks. So it's interesting. We're exploring this very weird world that I can't figure out. <laughs> it's a very, very strange world, but um, we're like the first person to leave our village in who knows how long. Uh, there's been some kind of maybe war. Not sure. Not sure. Something's weird. So we're discovering exactly what's going on. And if you've played this game, then please no spoilers. If you've not played this game, then welcome along for the journey. Now, love that so much. Thank you for having such an awesome community. Same to you, Sinternal. Thanks for your lurk. And we will be having a wonderful rest of your day. Hope that you are as well. Okay. We're going to turn off Spoofy. Bye, Spoofy. And we'll be right back in it with some more game here. All right. Here we go. Let me know if my camera goes away again. I don't know what that's all about. Definitely weird. Uh, and we also are riding this bike through the wonderful countryside. And really, there's been no, like, uh, direction in the game so far. The world feels really huge, and I don't know where to go. But basically, we're, we're creating these scrapbook pages with the pictures that we take. Whenever you take enough pictures, you, um, ooh, what's this? Whenever you take enough pictures, you get inspiration. And whenever you get inspiration, the pages complete themselves. Every line is dead, every wire is cut. I hate this season. What? Why? Who are you? Who are you? Who's writing these messages and why do they have such wonderful font? We wanted the season to change because they were so alone. <clears throat> Can I get in here? Nope. Is there anything over here that I need? Ooh, I kind of like that. Ooh! 
Oh, I like I like the puddle. Oh, I won't let me look down straight. I want to look straight down. It won't let me. Mean old game. What's this? Is it not gonna let me in? Our question that we asked earlier was, do you know how to ride a bike? Because I was never taught. It's a pretty song. It's a long song. We we wound it up really far. I don't think I've ever wound up a music box One that far. One melody is like me out here alone. I can't really live like this. One voice, one tune, alone in the wilderness can't last long. Two voices and a melody and a harmony is enough to survive a little while. Three voices, a community, a song can last a whole season. They kept themselves down. company with music. <clears throat> oh, another one. Two voices is like me and my mom. <gasps> we can survive. I have to play all three. But eventually, no. <laughs> Man, I thought I was being clever. Oh, I am. I am being clever. That's why I played for so long, because it's giving you plenty of time to get all three going. Supposed to be. I could listen forever. It's like surround sound. Thought I would get a, I thought I would get like an achievement or something for that, but no. Oh wait, I didn't take a picture or anything. Hang on. <clears throat> I can't just not take a picture of anything. I use my journal. This game is pure aesthetic so far. Back from food, how are you doing? Welcome back. Well, things are going good. We got a little, I got a, a raid from Centurnal. Always fun. Appreciate that community so much. Met a driver from a group that's building a community. I'm leaving with him. Goodbye to this lonesome place. Goodbye to this lonesome season. It looks like they made it out of here. But what is this group? So am I gonna meet people in this game or do I not have to be lonely the whole time? Have you heard of this game, Cam? Was this one that was also on your list? I definitely remember trailers of this game and being curious. It's been on my backlog for quite a while. Empty places I found companionship in the tapes I recorded before leaving home. The elder told me the story of her life. I listened back to it, ready to note down anything that seemed important.
I have heard of it. I think I watched the bat. I think I watched Bad Grammar Elite play some of it, but didn't specifically make my black. Let's back set the scene country. for the listener. Whoever that might be. This is the elder speaking. We're it's not what I expected the, the elder to sound like. Saying goodbye to a dear soul. We're here to see if there's anything useful in my mind that could help you on your trip. A century's worth of memories, dreams, fantasies, visions. Like a big, old, haunted library. When I die, this library will burn down. But which book should we check out first? I don't have all the answers, but I do feel the story of my life could help you understand what kind of world is out there. Do you have any it's advice? It's okay not to understand everything right away. The moment may pass before you've gotten a firm hold on it. But as long as you're there to witness it, to take it down in your journal, you and others to come will someday take the time to make sense of it all. <clears throat> What's your real name? Francis Kale, if you must know. You can call me Frank. Or Elder. Or the Elder. Or Elder Frank. You know, whatever. I don't care. Where were you born? I was born on the ocean. My mother and father worked on a cruise ship. A short-lived but glorious. What watery world is this? Floating cities. Most won their independence by the time I was born. How can I describe them? They were a jewel of the golden season. Pleasure boats with a radical political program. How nice. Cam, how did Overwatch 2 go for y'all last night? Logos, did you get any dubs? Mastheads. My mom taught me to read them. She was a ship's philosopher. My dad what ships have philosophers? Recycling on the ship was a matter of life and death. We had to get the most out of every object and watt of energy. Hmm. Philosophy, mom. These symbols and gestures were layered with meaning. Of course I get hit with four ads. Oh no, did you hear my question? Oh, there we go. Get that sub. <coughs> well, my question, Cam, was if you guys uh, got any dubs in Overwatch 2 last night. There are signals in the way you might move your hands <clears throat> or close your eyes. Her job was to manage the symbols and their meanings. She designed the ship's flag, for example. Let me draw it for you. After the war, people were disgusted with groups and symbols. Keep an eye out on your trip. I bet you won't see a signal flag flying. Her name was Augusta Kale. What was it like growing up there? I loved the way the ship would tilt and roll <laughs> with the waves, <clears throat> especially as I fell asleep. It was so calm. Picture me as a kid in bed, feeling the swaying of the ship. It was like being rocked to sleep as a baby. I loved exploring the ship too. Wandering through the suites, the swimming pool, the game rooms, and oh, there were two dance halls. A large, elegant one and another one in the basement. A lot of my first were right, Maybe now you're back from ads dance, officially. My first kiss. <laughs> I'll ask one more time if you got any dubs in Overwatch 2. I caught just a minute of Overwatch. And so forth. I saw right at the beginning as you were playing Ryan, but that was about it. <clears throat> when did you leave? The ship was taken over in the early days of the war. <clears throat> that was the end of the watery republics. I heard the dance hall in the basement became a weapons cache. Took me half my life to say goodbye to the world I knew in my youth. Imagine me and my parents and everyone I knew being escorted off the ship by a company of soldiers. Managed to get one dub. All right. Let's get it. Thinking, I hope they don't make a mess of my room. I was embarrassed by the younger kids who were crying their eyes out. But they knew, I guess. Was that the end of a season? Yes. The start of the war was a turning of seasons. And we had been warned the season was going to end. Oh, but we didn't understand the warning. You see, one night, along a coastline, we saw beautiful lights shimmering above the water. I did get a second one, but it kicked Shanine partway through, so it wasn't a true win for the cast. Oh, no. Later, we found out this was an ancient <coughs> I'll count it for system. you. 
It hadn't been used in so long. We didn't know what it meant. We just thought, well, ain't that pretty. We tried to stick together and camped out on the coast of the Prismatic Grounds. What's the Prismatic Grounds? A kingdom of art and science. They got rich during the golden season. What world is this? Everything that made them beloved before the wealth came. Passionate, uncompromising, self-obsessed. Made them unbearable once they had power. Artists make terrible kings. Are you sure you want me to keep going? The story gets darker from here on. Let's keep going. Okay, so conditions in the camp were getting worse. My mom got lost in thought for long periods of time. She'd be completely still for hours, days even. We realized she caught... <coughs> Dream sickness! It high misperception oh. disorder. It's when you lose your ability to tell how much time is passing. A minute can feel like an hour. A day can pass in ten seconds. That's just having kids. We don't know How'd she exactly. catch it? Our consciousness is delicate. There are minerals and sounds that can adjust it. Dr. Fumio's greatest fear was that someone would use this as a weapon. We heard about a traveling doctor who could cure these kinds of diseases. I decided to go find him. I found out his name was Dr. Fumio, and he traveled with his son, Lucio. People talked about him like he was a god. Uh, what happened? I described my mom's condition to Dr. Fumio. He said there was no cure yet, but there was a village high in the mountains. He thought it was high enough he'd have a better chance at treatment. Lower places are more dangerous. Valleys are the worst. Dude, what world is this? He invited this? me to join them in going to the village. But I wanted to go back and get my parents and bring them with me. <clears throat> what happened next? I packed my things and got ready to leave the next morning. That night, my mom came to me in a dream. She was standing in a field of flowers. And Croman says I last saw her. We were the same height. She pressed a finger hard into my palm. She taught me well. I knew the meaning of the gesture. I knew no matter what I did, I'd never see my parents again. In the morning, I told Dr. Fumio I would follow him to Carol Village. The next few weeks were very physically tiring, hiking, climbing. And when we found the village, building, planting, cleaning, Fumio brought sick people from all over the world, and they got better. The treatments worked. Everyone was healing. So why couldn't I? One day, we got word the war was over. We never found out how it ended. It was like peace just swept over the earth in a split second. There was a party in the plaza to celebrate the end of the war, but I couldn't bring myself to go. Yes, it was over, but it had taken my home, my family. That night, as I was falling asleep, I felt the bed tilt and sway gently, as if it was being tossed on the waves of the ocean, as if I was back in my bedroom on the ship. As if I was back in my mother's arms, being rocked gently to sleep. I knew I was finally home, and nothing could hurt me. I'm just real confused, you guys. I'm confused about this world. I'm confused about the rules. I'm confused about the lore. <clears throat> I'm giving it, I'm trying to give it plenty of time and grace. But I gotta be real, I'm lost. <clears throat> I'm not really convinced yet that I should care. I imagine coming upon a place as hidden and singular as my own village. Eventually, I found myself circling a valley, looking for a way in. <clears throat> like, I'm enjoying it's enough taking the neat pictures. People for a visit. I should oblige it. <clears throat> <clears throat> Gotta stop clearing my throat. It's gonna drive me crazy. <clears throat> there were cars in this. Ooh, that's that's neat. That's a neat picture. This is a truly enormous, impassive structure. That cobblestone. It's really pretty. It's 
Kind of reminds me of uh, <laughs> 007. <laughs> Golden Eye all of a sudden. Boom. Bat. 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 I need a cough button, you guys. I need a cough button. <clears throat> Baloos? Those lights on? <clears throat> I'm here for it. Must be a car, but it looks weird. <clears throat> I haven't seen one like this in my books. Oh, cutscene. Oh! Friend! You don't look like friend. You don't look like a friend oh. at all. Ooh, you're scowling, sir. <clears throat> What's wrong with your eyes? Oh! Uh, Valley. Um. <clears throat> One second. <clears throat> what will happen when we do as instructed and gather around this fake person? Is that I don't like this guy at all. Yeah, wh what are they called? What is it? Uh, my recorder? I love old gear like that. It's getting more and more rare. I, I had a camera, but it broke. Not that interesting of a story, I guess. What are you doing here? My man, you look so strange. Um, I'm here to observe and record the world. The uh, whole thing, huh? You're young. You you got time. What kind of stuff are you recording? <clears throat> Everything. That's the way to do it, if you ask me. If anyone asks me, I mean. Yeah, who the are you? Would be a good place to use those tools. Too bad it's closed down. Let me finish up here, huh? I was actually trying to. Having a whole realization right now? Tell me, Bwish. Please. Please let me know what's going on. Here stands the gateway to Ting Valley, uh, home of the three mindful gods. As you enter, try to imagine the millions of pilgrims who passed under this gate before. They were born, they lived, and they died. I'm not the first to do this. Just the first in a long time. Hey! What? Leave me alone! <laughs> Ugh! Why is Gamora? Bro, we've been doing this for like three years, and we might feel like, like way behind or time. lagging, but dude, we are decades ahead. I don't feel like we're lagging. Do you feel like we're lagging, please? You telling me something? <laughs> you telling me we're behind? We're not behind. This is like a second home for a while. Earlier when you showed up, and I was carrying the cardboard man. Yeah, I want you to stop talking to you me, were actually. Like, Who are these guys? <laughs> I've been pretty bored here. You know, I can tell you keep interrupting me. That's why nobody can go in there. The dam is falling apart. What's wrong with the dam? It's too old. There's nobody left who knows how to repair it. We're taking it down so we'll know when it'll collapse. It gives us time to evacuate everyone. Who's we? Greyhounds. We're a community organization. We do all kinds of fun stuff. Health clinics, mine sweeping, daycare, evacuations, weddings. Uh, we're new. <clears throat> uh, what is gray hands supposed to mean? It was supposed to be because we're helpful yet neutral. We took a vote and decided to change the name though. We want something more friendly sounding. I'm excited to find out what it would be. We're trying to get new things going, but it's hard. The past really has a tight grip on people. Doesn't feel like a fair fight. 
So we're trying to... Well... Anyway. <clears throat> it's funny. I stood guard here for a week, and I've only seen greyhands like myself and valley people on their way out. But now I see you, and you're like a... new element or something. I've never met anyone doing what you're doing. And uh, we greyhands got to support new things. Do we? So... Hmm. I'm not supposed to let anyone in. How can I? Jeez. I think you should go down into the valley and take a look. Gotta try something here. Dang it. I was trying to wink. Well, you get the idea. Who is this guy? He's making me crazy uncomfortable. Go on and put that old gear to use. <clears throat> you can take my map of the valley too. I don't need it anymore. He's being very kind. But he's making me mad uncomfy. I'll be down to pick everyone up around midnight. See you then. I don't know who their character designer is, but they missed the mark with him. I met a gray hand. He let me into the valley. I think he wanted me to record what the gray hands were up to. And he gave me a map. The assembly point seemed like a good place to start. Okay. So now I have goals. That's nice. Now I have like a logical thing that's happening. That's I, I like that. I'm here for that. <clears throat> I'm here for I'm here for goals. Probably just gonna slap these bad boys on here. Just so I can get the points. But yeah, Bleach, I imagine you're getting that feeling from watching the, uh, the meeting you're in right she now. Said they were dangerous. I I'm definitely having hardcore FOMO between that one and Exponential right now. I enter to see the moment between seasons. Hardcore FOMO. Ah. Okay, so I gotta figure out how to get wherever that is. It seems like I'll have to wait for night to enter the shrine. Please respect the residents of Ting Valley. They are not actors or tourist guides or animals, but hardworking folk. Please collect all trash or debris. Okay, do. I'll think about what kind of visitor I want to be. Exponential, what is that? Exponential is a church conference going on right now in Florida. <clears throat> and there's um there's a lot of different things about it. It definitely has more to do with evangelism and church planting, but there's definitely an element of digital church that goes on there. And a lot of my a lot of my a lot of my peers are there. I know Jate's there. I know the church.digital people are there. Bubba from LTN is there. Um, there's a whole suite of Fresh Expressions people from the Methodist Church that are there. FOMO is real. That's gorgeous. Oh, wow, that's gorgeous. Okay. You guys, Ganon lives in there. I mean, how could I not get that shot? How could I not get that shot? Are you kidding me? But yeah, it's a cool, it's a cool conference. As far as the meeting that Bleach is in right now, I do not know what it's called. But it's about gaming ministry. And hopefully he's going to send me the recording. Okay. Okay. We're going to take some pictures. All above will remain. All below will wash away.
All above will remain. <clears throat> All below will wash away. How's Chicory going? Have you finished it at this point, Kim? <coughs> Gosh, I'm so sorry. The coughs are just driving me wild. Remember, you made it I here, but we made the last here. Person that will ever be welcomed here by this sign. Parking spots that look totally normal. What world am I in? What world am I in? I want to know. I desperately want to know what world I'm in. Is this is this Earth? Is this America? I'm worried I'm missing the point. I'm worried I'm having a um. What's the name of that game? I've wondered about the lives beneath unkept graves. I'm worried I'm having the same experience that I had with Kentucky Route Zero, where I, it's it's just going over my head. It's too heavy. It's too um. It's too. I'm twelve years old and this is deep. The elder it very much feels like very that. Little information about the years before five hundred. I think I'm in chapter six. I'm enjoying it. It has some Metroidvania stuff going on. So I'm going back and exploring areas as I work on the next objectives. Very cool. I'm glad that you're enjoying it. Enough to keep playing it at least. It was one that I had to just kind of set down. Oop. 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 Serene pond area. Tell me more. Memory flower. That keeps. That's definitely a recurring theme, huh? Excuse me, what is a memory flower? Memory flowers are unique to Tiang Valley. Their long history is intertwined with the religious practices of the valley. Stop and listen. You might be surprised by what the flowers have to say. Beautiful but dangerous. Remember this helpful mnemonic. Memory flowers few, few. Memory flowers many, danger aplenty. I wonder what the flowers have to say. This world, this world, homie. Mm. Is it poisonous? What's happening to the edges of the screen? Am I forgetting things right now? God of sleep. I've been gathering harpic and I've been gathering courage. If my big prayer is wrong, if it goes against divine will, please spare the people of this valley. What is happening? We're so desperate what for peace. What is happening right now? I am listening to flowers. A memory told over and over again. It must have been important to have such an elaborate solitary tomb. All the rituals for the dead in my village require the body, so we couldn't perform them for my dad. But I can make my life a ritual for his memory. Have you thought about the flowers? I'm listening to the flowers. Okay, so I've explored the valley entrance and the assembly point. <clears throat> So confused by this whole world. <clears throat> Oop, there's more flowers down there. Are they a plenty? No. Oh. Gunshots last night. That was us. <laughs> what is that? Look at the pond. The water. What is that pattern? Should we run or something? Something frightening happened in this memory. But what was it? Look at the pond. The water. Something's wrong with the water.
Hungry eyes and empty stomachs. These metal animals are looking up expectantly. <sighs> Does the lily speak to me? No. But it is a nice shot. Okay, so where am I now? Serene Pond. I mean, what is the deal with the like undulating pages? Something very strange is happening in this town. Everybody okay? Ooh, what was that? Oh, it was just a pattern. <clears throat> a three-second siren. A three one of those classic three-second siren. There's so much to see. Okay. Okay, so I'm currently at the bus station. Yes. All right, I'm going to take a quick three-minute break, and we'll be back in un momento. So enjoy some, uh, some delightful bits and boops from a past stream, and I will be back in just a second. Stretch your legs, enjoy some time to yourself, look away from a screen, rub your eyes, whatever you need to do to take a little break. Be back soon. Mate, I know That's what you're here for. Done. I'm the one robot that don't sound like a robot. Here's for me to take a dive, but I can't accommodate you, mate. Got special orders, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that is his voice. That is his voice. I nailed it. I nailed it. Got special orders, isn't it? Looking to dread something special we can do. I might even give you something you can win. But I can't be taking a dive. P.O. tree, you understand? I love that I nailed his voice without even needing to, dude. Heck yes. So good at games. Great voice, 10 out of 10, best voice ever. The fact that I nailed it right away makes me real proud of myself. Directly to um, the cause, and, and oh, I think hello. it's so, uh, and that's, that's one of the things I was wondering. Is, hey, Brees hey, just donated that. Again. Sweet, thank you so much. It makes a huge difference, so one whole dollar of that dollar will go towards, <laughs> towards uh, you know, it took up my entire really. screen. I, <laughs> did it? <laughs> do, do you have the alert box set to full screen? Do you have the alert screen? set to full? Uh, yeah, we're going to Oh my done. gosh. That is the most it. exciting was, dollar that's ever been so done. so loud. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. We went an extra, a whole extra hour. I can't believe we went an hour. This one has like a little bit of a value there all the time. It's also awful. And this one is fine. Extra power game. There you go. Way too dank. Way past cool. You love to see it. Number 15. Other than Leshy, the scribe of beasts. And a beast he is. Arrogant, single minded, obsessed with gaining power. But he is far from the worst scribe to become hegemon. You see, the ejection of my eyeball is far from the worst thing that can happen around here. You must be... What? <laughs> what? What have you done? What have you done, Perspectus? You've, you've summoned him. You've summoned the boy. The green boy. Yeah! <laughs> this is Lonk. Hello, everybody. Lonk is here. Yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> I don't know if anybody ever clipped that. I think that might just exist in our in our imaginations forever. I live in
live in front of a green screen. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am Groot. I am Groot. My Rosa Corsa Ferrari. Ten minutes somewhere is ten minutes anywhere. But somehow what hurts more than the other. When I'm driving to the coffee shop, yeah, 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 yeah. I am Groot. I am Groot. I am. After the middle school plays, the smell, uh, the air smells like bonfire, and people who chit chat in the checkout lane. When I'm driving on the other side of town. Muscle mage. Muscle mage. You find it funny? Which accent are you guys talking about? You're freaking me out now. You're freaking me out now. Welcome back. Two damage. Oh, maybe not to everybody. Welcome back to most of you. <laughs> to those of you that got welcomed back, not to an ad. Um, we're going to get back into the game. We at least just figured out where things were. Bro, what? <clears throat> I have no idea what to, to what you might be broing. And there's no way of knowing where they are broing. Interested in joining the gray hands? I really don't like their outfit. I gotta be real. <laughs> I just don't trust these gray hands. What would you like to do? How do you want to spend your infinity precious time on this earth? Infinitely. Infinitely precious time. We will create a position specific to you. Each gray hand is in their own department. Sounds like they want to adapt their organization to the people in it. And not the other way around. Kind of churchy, yeah? Just got out of that meeting. I'm completely dumbfounded. The UMC is so far ahead of the curve in digital ministry. Tell me more. Tell me more. Now I know what you mean earlier whenever you messaged that you were like, you were worried we are so far behind. I thought you meant checkpoint, and I was like, I feel like we're pretty, we're doing pretty good. I never learned about this technology in school. I'm on Twitch right now playing season. Rations from the war? Yeah. I'll leave it alone. I'm definitely, I'm definitely impressed. I'm impressed with the UMC and its willingness to, to play ball. I was already proud to be a UMC just because I was a cradle Methodist, but like, I'm even more proud of the fact that just like, you could not believe the approach the UCC has to engage people through games. Man, I need to sit. Well, that's very exciting. Maybe we can work together. The more we work together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we work together, the happier we'll be. Imagine if the man I met is the only living gray hand, and the rest are cardboard. Radiant City, a blank canvas for your dreams. It's hard to imagine something new, a new way of living. But they're trying. Low elevation is dangerous. Low elevation pulls containment. The Elder what also said low places are dangerous. The city is high up like my village. We had to leave so much behind. My daughter asked me if we could watch more Ninja Turtles today and I couldn't be more proud. I was pretty proud last night when she asked if we could have pizza for lunch again today. Man! Helen is after your own heart, Zando. Seem to care what people think about them. Yeah, Nora. Nora really likes to watch the TMNT cartoon, the most recent one. My wife does not care for her watching it, but I'm I'm thrilled about it. We have no leader. Doing it right this time. <laughs> ah, hashtag mood, dude. We will never wage war. Yikes, dude. That's a lot of bombs. The weight of the past will fall off our shoulders. We will see the world as if it is, as if for the first time. Yo. We will hold hands for the right amount of time. Not too brief, not forever. We will build the next season. I just don't like the logo, dude. I don't like the logo and the outfits and the little man that I'm at. Just makes me real nervous. Everything makes me real nervous. They're going to build the next season. How?
Just, just everything. Everything rubs me the wrong way. Whoever is their graphic designer needs to be fired. Except for whoever made the potato chip bag. Potatoes and googies. These snacks are so identical, as if they were mass-produced. The snacks <clears throat> of my life have been homespun, idiocentric even. Uh, let's see. I just, there I'm so be confused. A lot of people going to this I started on the 2012 series yesterday. I don't remember if that's the most recent or not. It probably, that's probably the same one I'm talking about. It's on Netflix. Whatever it is, it's that one that we're watching. But, Nora loves it. The phone is ringing. The phone is ringing. Your distant music. Hello? Oh, thank God someone is still down there. I've been trying to get a hold of someone for hours. Oh, thank you. I forgot the day zero materials. You know, the visual literature, the, the, the warm bath of ideas? I left it at the dig site. It should be sitting on a barrel with a fruit sticker on it. Oh, hold on. I forgot to do the secret password. I don't even know who you are. Is it too late now, you think? Sure, let's do it. Okay. What day is the day after tomorrow? Day zero. Whew. Okay. I did figure you'd be... Sorry, I didn't recognize your voice. Hard to keep track of all the new recruits. Yeah, the Netflix one is the one we're watching with Jason Biggs, eventually recast with Seth Green, Sean Astin, Gregory Sipes, and Reb, Reb, Rob Paulson. That's it. I definitely recognize Rob Paulson. was I going to say? I didn't recognize Sean Astin. Who is he? In the show. What character? There was vandalism on a few of the posters. Definitely not a voice that I recognized and I thought I would have. Bad stuff. I put them in the trash. But Rob Paulson is definitely an one. an eye out for more. Anyways, thanks that's an, for That's a very distinct voice. The day zero material is in the dig site. Pretty sure it should be sitting on a barrel that has a fruit sticker on it. You know, I guess I was going to say you could bring it to me, but the flood will destroy it anyway. So actually, I was worried for nothing. Everything is lost in a flood. God, we really know what we're doing. I'm excited for this all to be over. I'm what excited for this all to be is happening? Bye bye now. What is this game? What is this game? What am I playing? What is this game? What am I playing? What story is being told? I'm so confused. Not a thing has happened in this game so far that I've understood what's going on. <clears throat> and I really don't know if that's a good thing or not. I don't know if it's that the story is so rich that it's like the... I gotta, I gotta delve down levels and levels of lore. Or if it's that the, the game is too deep and it's obscure. Raphael. Interesting. I definitely did not put two and two together that that was Sean Astin. <clears throat> oh, flowers. Hang on. Whoa! I gotta hear what these flowers are saying. so free and happy I guess I think they sound weird and confusing all right ice cream where am I now you think Let's see, I took a, I took a 
right, maybe? I feel like this game is going to either have the best twist ever, or it's going to be a massive letdown. No middle ground. I'm, I'm waiting on it. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm a couple hours in, and I gotta be real. It, it better do something, because I'm not in it. I have no interest in picking up this game again. Harvested from cold cows, we call it. Let alone some kind of frozen version. This game has yet to do anything to interest me. Is that your name on your collar? Let's see. You are Madrigal. Like, I, I don't know if I'm just not in the mood for it or what the deal is, but I can't be bothered to care. It's definitely not at all what I thought it was going to be about. The, the Steam summary makes the game sound interesting, but watching you play has the opposite effect. I don't know if that's a backwards... <laughs> that almost sounds like a dig, Sneaky. That almost sounds like a dig. I know what you're saying. But for a second there... It really depends on the emphasis of the syllable. The sound of this bell has a lot of character. We're being evacuated. They're moving us into the apartment building in the Radiant City. There's no room for animals. It breaks my heart, but I have to leave all of you here. I've got the radio turned to your favorite station. You've always done right by me. By the way, this paper was written by an angel. These people had to leave so much behind. You said that. We got a big show today. Huge show. Breaking news. <laughs> Not implying it is you. I knew you weren't sneaky. Have I died. Were. we're being reborn, baby. And we're taking suggestions for our new name. Live on the air suggestions from the rank and file. H man. <laughs> H man, dude. I don't know. True. I don't know, H man. This might be one to. This might be one to sleep on. We're gonna. I'm. I'm, I'm pushing through to three o'clock. I mean, to four o'clock. Hit us with a name. Uh hi, yeah. I was thinking the bricklayers. Okay. Bricklayers. Laying some bricks. Hmm. Well, yeah, th uh, thanks for the suggestion. We'll be taking them all afternoon, so, so keep them coming. That number again is 0019. You're listening to Grey Hand Radio. <laughs> <laughs> we are broadcasting live from Greyhand HQ. And we're going to take a little break. If the Greyhands are changing their name, you'd know them as something else. What the dog doing? Are you saying you gotta talk to me or you gotta talk to uh HBO? Alright, well the cows like that song, so I'm gonna keep that song playing for them. Look at how many cows! Oh, they love the song! You guys like that, huh? You like that? And your name is Tupet. I wonder who named you that. <laughs> That's a cow man. What are you saying? This is a big dog. All I see is a bunch of dogs wearing bells. I don't even know what you're talking about. Look at that dog there. That's a dog on a trophy. Does that say best moo? Never mind. Best game ever. 10 out of 10 game. I love this game. 10 out of 10. Never mind. International Competitive Cow Festival. I want that. From all over the world. <clears throat> yeah, never mind. Ten out of ten game. Forget I said anything, H man. This is a perfect game. The golden season seems like such a different world. Dude, I love how much these dogs love this music. You are a cow, and you were named Kresnahorkai. Ain't 
No shot. She she said crossing the Horkai on the first try. No shot. Why'd you not come running, huh, baby? You didn't like the song? You didn't like the song I played for you, babe? What's wrong with my song, huh, babe? A beautiful cow named... Named Gorp. I love Gorp. <laughs> I love it. I love you so much, Gorp. Dude, Gorp, you're my best friend. Gorp was sleeping. Gorp did not like that I touched Gorp. You dare defile the son of a shepherd. You touch the gorp. Hi, yi yi. What is this game? What is this game? What is it about? What am I doing? What am I doing? Why do I care? Why am I here? That's not my bike. <sighs> I guess we're going to go to the dig site. No touching the gorp. Do not touch the gorp. You will remove your hand from the gorp. Is that the dig site? I'm just going to ignore the no trespassing sign. Whoop. Clearly there's something to know at the dig site. <clears throat> cool. There's something to be known here. Do you or someone you know suffer from daytime visions? Yo, know, straight up, if that picture was posted I wish somewhere, I could call this hotline to talk about his heavy dream. I would, I would absolutely leave. I would leave the town. I'd be like, no, thank you. Actually, restricted area, restricted to me. Restricted to my entry. Whoa. All right, I gotta look for a fruit sticker. How do I get in? Oh, I see. I just sneak through. Well, the bike can totally get through there. <clears throat> All right. Fruit sticker. Yummy, yummy. Looks like there's no one around anymore to enforce this. That's right. I'm going in. Squeeze. Going to get a package? Me too, actually. I found a dig site that is fenced off from view. What were they doing here? Mm, let's find out. Hand said he left his materials behind. It should be somewhere around here. With a fruit sticker on it. That local guy who died studying, Harpic. I put his notebook back where we took it from in the huge tree near the lady's farm. We copied everything out of it anyway. I hope that stops the kid from trying to sneak in here to get it back. P.S. Could someone fix that hole in the fence? There's a big tree with a researcher's notebook inside it somewhere. The day we packed the last get The day we packed the last crate, we were sweating and exhausted and Jonal says, Eh, the real work begins after day zero. <laughs> they look relieved to have finished their work. What? Work? What work, dude? What work where? In what way? What were they doing why? And where and how and who? Sa site safety. Uh, psychoactive mineral present. Handle with care. Do not speak or sing or whistle. This is the kind of brain trouble my mom warned me about. What universe is this in? Estimated of 10 years old, it accumulates the most on objects in the soil with strong sentimental value. Childhood toys, wedding rings, photographs, journals because of ambient memory. Memories and emotions condensed into a mineral. <clears throat> like they do. Like they do, dude. 
I wonder what this channel is for. We must have already <coughs> shipped out all the harpic they need. Oh my goodness. What is harpic? What is harpic? <gasps> what is this? I wonder what's on this reel. <laughs> what is day zero? The world may never know. Maybe I can find out more about it. <coughs> well, I hope I don't fall. Big prayer. Big prayer. Secret. It's a, it's a lost they secret. They dug up all that harpic in order to conduct some sort of prayer on day zero. Dude, they're just throwing words together, man. I've recreated the same setup as the prayer statues right here in my workshop. I set up a single <laughs> so to verify the pattern that will form in the water. And some harpic, of course. Each god seems to correspond to a resonating frequency. And when this vibration acts on the harpic, we get the um, psychoactive response. Going to give it a try here. The... Shadow puppets on the wall. Okay. It felt strange because I could see how it was done. I could see the trick of it, but it's still. Wait, those are like real hands. <laughs> Why are there real hands all of a sudden? Well, that was the most interesting thing this game has done the entire time. At least we finally got some level of interesting. Memory Griffin! The memories of the owner now turned into a beautiful mineral. Oh, what is this game? I ask again. I never did find the fruit sticker. The work at the dig site has something to do with day zero. <clears throat> Could have been playing Sons of the Forest, but yeah, I know. I know. Look, the the RNG the RNG Lord spoke. Okay. I would have been just fine trying Sons of the Forest. But this is what RNG'd. Oh, yep, let's tune it. Record. The necessity of day zero is not just psychological, it's ecological. Because there is a compounding effect to these minerals and their psychological effect. And we see this in Tiang Valley. There is a memory, and a memory of a memory, and a memory of a memory of a memory. This echo, <laughs> this recursive nature is the problem. As this cycles through the ecosystem, it creates points of pressure where things bleed, and soil and human minds are contaminated. Some will say, what's a few daytime visions? But it is an increasing risk, an increasing danger. Left alone, the haunted quality of this season will only get worse. The necessity of day zero is also to... This, this particular action 
will neutralize this phenomenon at its source. This is not an endless cycle. We are putting an end to this psychoactive material. And we are opening up space for something new. How do they plan to remove the haunted quality of this season? How are the captions so smart that they don't duplicate when there are subtitles? I have no idea. I, maybe it's drawing on like audio sources, so it only draws on like what's registered as a mic source. Hey, samesies. Same time. Great minds, dude. Great minds, dude. Nice man. Great minds, dude. Okay, so do I need to put that thing, the recording that I just took there? Necessity of day zero is what is that? I gotta take a picture of the graph. We love taking pictures of graphs, dude. We love it. We love it. We're here for it. Let's do it. Give me that graph. I forgot I sent you the setup code for it. This is maybe the same one, maybe a different one. I definitely set that up and then it, um, whenever OBS updated, stopped working and then eventually found like a beta hard, hard built into the new OBS. And it's either because it was still drawing on what I'd already put into the code. Oh. <clears throat> or OBS just did one. It's through Google. It's the same thing we set up. But I have no idea if it's through OBS or if it's still the ramifications of the ones that we set up or not. I got no clue. I guess it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> I wonder if I could play that reel. Yeah, man. Me too. I wonder. I wonder if I could. Could I play it here? No. That's not what I want to do. I want to change the reel. Let me change the reel. I want a smoothie. A smoothie sounds good. Are we talking a fruit smoothie? Are we talking a veggie smoothie? Are we talking a both smoothie? Never did find the fruit sticker. Yummy, yummy. Where is it, dude? This game is not interesting enough for me to just keep looking, you know? <coughs> okay, well... Neato, I guess. Fruit, like an overpriced one from Jamba Juice, loaded with sugar. Sounds delish. Well. Maybe it's right here on this chair. No. I don't know. I don't, I don't really, I just don't understand. Am I being obtuse, you guys, or is this game, is this game just weird? It's just weird. Am I the problem? I like danger. Oh! Oh! I can only enter here because of my magic! Y'all don't even know. Y'all don't even know my magic. I'm the only one that can take this picture because I got magic. In Cairo, we have a statue to remember Dr. Fumio. But this statue is meant to be worshipped. Razmataz, is that also your your favorite pick? I'm riding through the memories, riding through the memories, riding through the memories right here. Do you have a memory?
what was that? Paper slips. I'd like to read my favorite book again without knowing what happens. I know it's tedious, but if you could remove my memories of it, I give an offering to supreme love loveliness. My memories of the war, I don't need them anymore. I don't, they're yours. What I saw by the light of the moon, that pattern in the water, I want to forget it. I can do this? Oh. Oh. The book. These slips are prayers to this god for forgetting things. Mm. People prayed here. Who did they pray to? Okay, so I can listen to that one right here, yeah. No? Well, what is that then? All right, I'm gonna head out. Peace party people. See you, boys. Thanks for being here. Appreciate you. <clears throat> Man, I really, I just can't with this game. I'm going to just start filling pages and see if anything starts making sense. Time seems to pass Welcome back, Cam. around here. I feel so heavy and so light at the same time. I'm not really alone. I'm with myself. I'm with the earth. Okay. Like, that's just not worth it, you know? Am I wrong? I feel like that's just not worth it. What are the gray hands doing? Greyhands are the future. You're gonna look at me and tell me that I'm wrong? The good she came down in a bubble, dog! In fear of progress. The loneliness of this season will be left behind. A collective project is coming. green space. I feel memory in the air like pollen. It reminds me of a poem my dad was never able to finish. The first line was, if you want to awaken the dead, just whisper. The process of taking people out of the valley was also a kind of ritual, a way of bridging one life to another. They know the world they're leaving. The next one hasn't been created yet. Down with the cows. I get the whole point of the game is to discover what is going on through conversations, culture, etc. But there aren't enough answers to keep me intrigued. I'm worried. See, I'm glad to hear you say that, Sneaky, because I'm really concerned. I'm just having an Outer Worlds experience, uh, and this is the same thing that got me in trouble with Outer Worlds. 
and I'm worried I'm the one that's wrong here. So it really is very encouraging for me to hear you say that. I'm just not sure why I should care. <clears throat> the gray hands present one side to the public and another is hidden behind metal fences. There but it really is the same person. conundrum that I ran into with Outer Worlds. It's like, man, this better be worth it. Because if this isn't worth it, there's nothing to it. It's just hardly an experience. And it's so slow. At least with Outer Worlds, they keep you on the, um... Outer Wilds, my bad. Uh, at least with Outer Wilds, they, like, keep you on the path. They, they keep you moving forward, because it's like, you got 16 minutes. You better figure out something today. Um... <clears throat> but this game is not... There's... I... They needed to set it up the right way. May she rest the year of the din. The year of the din? Was that how they recorded years in the olden days? <laughs> I almost I almost want to go watch a let's play. Or just go read the wiki. I don't know, and it's also petty. It's also very petty, but like, the characters not moving their lips is like, if you're gonna make a game that I that you want me to care about, you're gonna force you're gonna force me to discover this game. Like then game you gotta make you gotta make it polished enough. Like, mom needed to say something at the beginning that was really gripping. Or, like, we just had a pretty awesome moment, yeah? Like, that was that was a pretty powerful moment where we got to enter this field of flowers for some reason. Because we have this memory pendant. And what did I get out of it? Nevin! In a weird way, this game comes across how I feel about immortality. I get what you want me to do, but it is not pulling me in and making me feel invested in the outcome. Sneaky, I can't really say anything without spoiling. Um, I definitely feel the same way about immortality until something happened in that game. And once that something happened, I could not stop playing the game. Because whenever that something happened, it took me by surprise and scared me so badly and deeply that I had to understand what was happening. And I wish this game had that. Immortality does have that moment. Immortality has a moment in it for me where it was like, oh man, I care so much all of a sudden. This game has just not made me care yet. This is how I feel when a game has had voice acting and then suddenly expects me to read a novel. If you couldn't afford voice acting for a specific part of the game, I don't feel like I need to read it. Mmm. That's a good point. There's definitely an, uh, there's definitely like an affordability factor and then like a, at a certain point, maybe the better choice is just not to have it. Nothing there, huh? I thought for sure that would have been something. <clears throat> like I guess right now the point of the game is I'm supposed to figure out what what the gray hands are doing. Oh people. Yes, yes, give me a reason to care. Give me a reason to care. Please. 
Will you please give me a reason to care? Now I gotta put immortality back on the list. Yeah, I don't wanna- I don't wanna spoil no. anything. You said we had until midnight. I'm not ready to leave. Look at all this. Wait a minute. A cute outfit. A bicycle. You're not a gray hand. Oh, what a relief. I'm sorry. I just assumed because who else would be... What are you doing here? Um, I'm trying to glimpse the true state of all things. True words never been You're spake. You're trying to do that today? Wow, and I thought I was busy. Welcome to Tiang Valley. You should have been here a week ago when the evacuation started. Almost everyone is gone now. Where are they going? You noticed, I hope, that the valley is going to be flooded. The Grey Hands are taking us to live in the Radiant City. Look! Start your new life in the Radiant City. It looks radiant. See how they put the dimensions on the back? I recreated our future apartment here on the lawn. I sure didn't. <laughs> This is the space oh, that's that neat. What a clever way to do that. To live in. I'm trying to really imagine what it'll be like. We're going from a big farm to one room. And we need to be packed by tonight. I already packed for myself and my son. My husband, Yuri, is a little harder to pack for because he passed away recently. And I can't bring all his things. It's not realistic. His stuff is still, it's all here. It's okay. What'd you say you wanted to see? The true state of all things? It must be in here somewhere. We can do this. Just need to decide. <clears throat> I also really wish they'd, they'd uh, picked another uh, uh, speech bubble style. Speech bubbles are rough. <clears throat> I like comic books. You can talk about comic books? Oh, Captain, my Captain? No? Okay. Our old cart broke. I overloaded it. So I had to use the wheels of his bicycle. Now he's so mad he won't say a word. I've packed my essential clothes. I don't know what to do with these. This was Yuri's best suit. Maybe when Kochi grows up, it'll fit him. That's a long time away, though. My island <coughs> dress. We <coughs> made this for our trip to the islands, the trip we never took. It was based on a photo of a seaside azan dance. The hours I spent on this. These are some of Yuri's clothes from when he was a kid. I thought Kochi could wear them, but he says they're itchy. So what's the use? But... To throw them away, he was a little boy. He would put these clothes and go to school. He grew up. Oh, God, this is... I mean, this hurts a little. Okay. Mmm. 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 Kid. Yes. They seem so precious. I don't know. I should keep these. <clears throat> okay, so I'm doing the thing that I did at the beginning, but now for her. Yuri learned to paint from our neighbor, Matiora. He painted all three of these. This is a self-portrait he did. Kind of intense, right? He was more handsome than that. I wish he could have seen him <clears throat> the way I saw him, you know? He was really lovely. Just occasional dark moods from his work. This is his portrait of me. We got into a fight over it. What's that supposed to mean? You just splatter some paint on the canvas and put my name on it? He said it was my essence. I don't know. Do you think it looks like me? I probably don't know you well enough, but I'm going to actually say, yeah, yeah, I feel it. Maybe I was hard on him. <coughs> he painted this for Kochi. Some kind of private joke between the two of them. I don't get it. They were both interested in the war and how it ended. I'm not. I just pray nothing like that will ever happen again. Which painting should I take with me? Uh, definitely Kochi. Yes, you're right. Kochi will be glad we kept this one. 
<clears throat> All right, this is going well. But I feel like I'm forgetting something. Or someone, the demon of shame and mourning. How could I have forgotten? Of course. I mean, how could you have forgotten the demon of shame and mourning? Where did I put him? Well, you, we all know about the demon of shame and mourning. Come on. We need to bring the Rookie demon of shame stuff and here. You need to bring him. I love that he's on a stool. When someone dies and you're in mourning, you're supposed to keep the demon in sight at all times. He's of course you are. He's supposed to remind you of your regrets. It's and a good thing to be reminded of. Sounds like a really good religion. Really happy you have that. These are Yuri's books. They're pretty heavy. <clears throat> Man. The Prism of Yesterday. This is an old religious book, The Prism of Yesterday. He didn't like to talk about its fate. Do they have anything about the demon of shame and mourning in there? I haven't read it much. Maybe there's a part of him in these pages. A part I never understood. That I could maybe he would want me to keep this one. But I don't know. It just doesn't mean much to me. Yuri found this old tourist guide to the valley before we moved here. He was so excited. This guide is really out of date. It's from way before the war. There's something optimistic about the colors they used. <coughs> Man, this is a bad one. This is a bad one. I can't get rid of it. Yuri really wanted to take a trip to the archipelago together. We prepared for it a lot. Even taught ourselves a bit of the language from this book. But we never made the trip. It was always going to be soon. Seems like the kind of thing no one does anymore. Which should I take with me? I'm going to say the tourist guide. Because since this valley is literally about to be flooded. We have a special feeling for the season just before us. The one our parents grew up in. It's like it was right there. But we missed it. We know there were horrors. But somehow everyone seems innocent. I suppose I'll be leaving the other two behind. I know they're heavy. But would you want to take one with you? <clears throat> sure, I'll take the language book. That seems yeah, actually applicable. Maybe you'll make it to the Azan Island someday. Maybe I will. I doubt it because we've only got 13 minutes left in stream. And I'm not sure I'll ever touch this game again. Let's see how this is going so far. We'll remember Yuri's excitement coming to the valley. Here we go. Okay. All right. It just had me pick three things. None of them are in the suitcase. Yuri's clothes from him when he was a kid. <clears throat> like, like, if you're going to make me make major decisions in a game, you've got to at least show them to me. All you showed me was the demon of shame and mourning, and that's the one thing I didn't get to pick. I think we're almost there. Let's just look a little more. <clears throat> <clears throat> Pictures. I feel disrespected. I feel disrespected of my essence as, as a gamer. Tools to study the valley. They were his <clears throat> life's work, and they took his life away, too. So what do I do with them? You can't buy tools like these. He made them. My husband didn't insult God. But maybe he stepped on his toe, and his life went out of him. How did it happen? There's the skin of our body that keeps us together, but there's also the skin of our minds. The skin of your mind can pop like a bubble, and everything that makes you yourself will come pouring out, and the earth will devour it eagerly, the way wind fills a vacuum. They might be incredibly valuable to a scientist on the other side of the world. This is a tuning fork. I don't know. I also hate them. I get you're a curious soul, but I forbid you from using them. What do they do? I That's just care, a tuning fork. He did. He gave his life trying to understand this world. I can't keep these tools, and I can't throw them away. There's even more of them, bigger ones, out at his work shed. Okay, I'm going to I want you to take them or throw them. I don't want to know. Yeah, I'm going to take them. All right, what was left? The pictures or the bike? Yeah, pictures. I went through all our old photos. Trying to see what I might be forgetting. I love that view. Have you been up there? By the entrance to the shrine? Uh, not yet. You really should go see it when it opens. 
<coughs> it's just across the river and up the hill. The doors to the shrine open when the sun goes down. The monk is still in there. I hope he'll evacuate. That's right, I guess Matiora. that's somewhere to go. She lives east of here, out in the woods by the river. Is her hand that large? She said she'll evacuate, but she's still here. It makes me nervous, but I can't complain. We're still here, too. Ask about her or Yuri or the boy. <clears throat> Yuri. We got married in the suburbs of Tiang and had Kochi right here in the valley. He was a quiet person, a listener. Like you? He thought if he listened closely, he could heal the valley. We'll have to leave him behind. No choice on that. The past is such a heavy dream, and I never remember my dreams. But when I wake up, there's a cloud of feelings the dream left behind. Then the day begins. I move around. I wonder if our memories of the valley will drift away like that. Hold on to the present, Naomi. Enough of these old photos. We still have work to do. Do we? All right. This is it. <coughs> you literally took none of the things I asked you to. Nothing changed. It's not even the right picture frame. The car broke. The demon of shame and mourning. No. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Whatever are we going to do? I killed him. The demon of shame and mourning. What was I thinking bringing it along? What an awful tradition. It is an awful tradition. You still want to take a final tour of the valley? <clears throat> Let's get those wheels back where they belong. Boy, that clipping is pretty rough, I know huh? what I'll carry with me. It's something I couldn't leave behind if I tried. It couldn't be crushed like the demon. It's too many layers deep. I'll carry the part of me that's gone. That's missing. But there's so much life left that flowers grow along its edges. Something like that. Yeah, I'm back to where I was. I think this game is seriously just like an I'm 12 and this is deep game. The whole thing. It does let you take nice photos. But this really feels like 8th grade philosophy. I'm glad you came to Tiang Valley today. Thank you for being there for me. I didn't realize how much I needed a stranger's ear. Now, there's no rush. But as you try to wrap your mind around this place, feel free to come ask me questions. I'll be right here until night comes. Okay. Like, do you guys feel satisfied after that? Do you feel like you, like, learned, learned something? Do you feel like you're a better person? Do you feel progression in the game? Do you feel anything? I feel nothing from that, from that experience. Nothing just happened. I hope I get to taste some Saba fruit. If it merits a sticker, must be pretty good. Yeah, my my two cents after almost three hours with this game is I will either go download it and finish it off stream. Three aphorisms from the young. <clears throat> if music is complete, then it is not music. It Ooh, looks nice. like a set of aphorisms. Now to find the rest. Um, I will either go finish this game on my own time, or I will more than likely go find a Let's Play of it and watch someone else play it. Uh, and uh, that's if anybody else has played this game. But I'm currently sitting at like a 4 out of 10, which is pretty harsh for me. 
I really normally don't do that to games, but I, I really do feel like disrespected by this game. I want to think the best of the devs, and I want to think that they really tried to make the best game that they could, but I there's there's no real like care put into this experience. I had an uncle who collected tools that were so old nobody knows what they were used for. <clears throat> It almost needs it almost needs a main storyline that it points you towards and then everything else you can look at on your own time if you want to. Do you want to go on a well, a uh, sightseeing tour? I got 4 minutes. The tour runs all day. Bikes all day. The next tour leaves in well, now based saying goodbye is like when you empty your pockets before going to bed, you get to see what you picked up. The things I picked up need somewhere to sleep. Follow me. All right, I guess we're going to follow him. He's so fast. Since we can't bring it to the city, I don't care what we bring. I love the tree, and Dad cured it. That's what he did. All this purple stuff in the valley that makes you feel funny. <clears throat> See? This used to be purple. Dad made the dangerous part go away. He wanted to make it so all the purple rocks were safe and green. I know That's interesting. Underwater. Can a tree become an underwater tree? This one can't die. It's been through too much. Let's go. See, that's the first, that's, that's like the second interesting thing that's happened in this game. The Grey Hands have a lot of this stuff now. For better or for worse. Where did my, where did my bike go? That's like maybe a little interesting. Uh, but I think we got to call it. I think we got to call it there. So I will, I will maybe play more of this game. Maybe not. We'll find out. Um, definitely not on stream because you guys were also not into it. <laughs> we have a viewer, which is of course fine. We're not about the views here, but uh, that is very funny. That is a telltale sign that this game ain't it, Chief. Hashtag ain't it, Chief. Um, and that's a bummer. I hope that this game. What is unstuck? Oh, there's a there's a like debug. Um, I really yeah. Please keep playing it. Stop. Don't. Yeah. I don't know, dude. Mm, I I played 2.6 hours. I got eight out of the 16 achievements. And uh, mm, let's look at what we did. Help so fun pack the last of her things. Play a herd of cows. Her favorite genre of music. Begin your political education. Uh, find a hidden botanical voice, encounter a stranger and have a pleasant interaction, see the outside world before it's gone, completely customize a page in your journal, uh, a journey of a thousand seasons begins with a single step. Let's, let's... <clears throat> I just don't know, dude. A part of me wants to finish it just so that I can, like, figure out what... Because it, it, it's doing well. <clears throat> it's doing well, and I want to know what people like about it. Um, so maybe I'll play it on my own time. We'll see. I'm pretty deep right now into Dragon Quest XI, so I don't really feel like... But it's I've only got a couple more hours, so maybe I could take a break. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I'll let you guys know. If I get back into it, I will let you know what I think and if it's worth finishing. Um, but right now, I got to be real and say nah. Gotta be real and say nah. Fox will be back on Thursday, uh, 9 a.m. I'm gonna do your gotcha pond here for you, Zando. It's a four-sided die. Four-sided die, potentially a bonus stream here. If it's a nat crit, then uh, Zando gets to pick a game. If it's a nat fail, I get to pick a game. If it's anything in between, it means absolutely nothing. Let's see, let's get the, <clears throat> the tray, of course. 
Let's see what we get. The smallest die that I have. So this is your best chance. It's a two. It's a two. It was your best chance and still nothing for you. Folks, like I said, we'll be back. <clears throat> 9 a.m. on Thursday playing something. I don't know yet. We'll find out. Um, and I uh, look forward to seeing you all then. We've only got uh, three viewers. I don't raid until I get five. So we're not going to raid today, but that is okay. If you want to know more about the stuff that we're doing, exclamation point Discord, exclamation point YouTube, uh, that is the other places that we are active throughout the week. And we are Checkpoint Church. We're really a church. I'm their pastor. I'm really a pastor. Just started ads. Of course it just started ads. Oh, no. Well, we're going to wait. We're going to wait for the ads. I, I, I'm going to wait for the ads because I want those people that are watching ads to know that God loves them. We love them. They matter. So we're going to wait. If you guys want to know my reference here, uh, Chuck E. Cheese runs on floppy disks. That randomly came out in the news today. In case you didn't know, uh, Chuck e. Ch Charles Entertainment Cheese is in fact still running on a floppy disk. The uh, the animatronic itself is programmed through a floppy disk in its uh, in its computer system. I thought that was an interesting fact. So now you know. Now you have a fun fact and you understand why that's behind me. So all the people today that have hopped in and seen that fun fact and have been like, what what is Nathan on? Uh, that is, that's what I'm on. It fell over. What will we do without floppy disk? Can you believe it's still using floppy disk? I thought that was so crazy. I thought that was so wild. All right, we got a whole other ad to wait through. But apparently there are a lot of things that still run on floppy disks. As of 2000, this article was the one that I read. As of 2019, so since 2000, now we're, we're four years in to not using floppy disks, but the like nuclear, nuclear codes, the nuclear codes were on a floppy disk. That's insane. That's simply wild. I hope that you guys have had fun, even in the midst of this rather blase game, which is ironic because in the very beginning it used the word blase. Okay, welcome back to our ad viewers. Folks, again, thank you for being here. We are a Checkpoint Church. We're really a church. I'm your pastor. I'm really a pastor. And we believe three things to be true about every single one of you out there. Number uh, No matter whether you believe in God, don't believe in God, go to church, don't go to church, any of that stuff, we still believe these three things. Number one, that God loves you, like really, really loves you. Number two, we love you. We want community with you. Number three, the you, yes, you matter. You are a person of sacred worth. The world is a better place. Why? Because you are in it. Folks, with that, until the next time that I see you, bye-bye.